Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about Legionella infection. This bacteria can be intracellular, so gram stain is often negative, but if it does stain, it will be gram negative. However, we can reliably stain them by silver stain. But if you want the most reliable method of diagnosis, you can culture them on charcoal agar. The bacteria does not transmit from one person to the other. They are released in the patient's urine, which is why we can diagnose them as well by the urine antigen. And they can only infect patients by water and air sources. For example, a water tank in a cruise ship or uh, an air conditioning system in a hotel. All patients using these systems will be affected. But again, no patient-to-patient -patient transmission. The bacteria's hallmark is hyponatremia. It is thought to be the result of increasing ADH levels or maybe affected sodium channels and the renal tubules. But we don't know for sure. It's the only bacteria that can cause isolated hyponatremia, so this piece of information is very important. It can be effectively treated with ciprofloxacin or macrolides like azithromycin. If untreated, the bacteria can develop Legionnaire disease, which is basically pneumonia symptoms with either GI symptoms or CNS symptoms. Again, this is highly characteristic. Pneumonia with other GI symptoms or CNS symptoms is specific for Legionella. So to recap, the bacteria is stained by silver stain and can be cultured on charcoal agar. And the bacterial antigen is present in the urine, so we can use the, the urine antigen for diagnosis. The transmission has to be from infected water or air source. There, there is no patient-to-patient -patient transmission. The hallmark is hyponatremia. And it can be treated by macrolides or fluoroquinolones. The complication is Legionnaire disease. And here's a small quiz. Which of the following lab findings is also consistent with Legionella? And the answer is elevated transaminase. This is not very specific, but common. So if in the exam, the entire scenario is consistent with Legionella, but you see high liver function tests, don't be thrown off. Alright guys, that's all I have, and thank you so much for watching.